Chloé Wei, vous êtes artiste à la fois sculpteur, performeur, blogueur, architecte, photographe et réalisateur. Né à Pékin, fils du célèbre poète et intellectuel Ai Ching, vous passez votre enfance à ses côtés dans l'enfer des camps de rééducation. Vous n'en sortez qu'à 19 ans pour intégrer l'Académie de cinéma de Pékin avant de partir pour les états unis où vous devenez clandestin et vivez de petits boulots. À 36 ans, vous rentrez au pays au chevet de votre père malade. Depuis, vous produisez un travail artistique iconoclaste, à la fois malicieux et profond, et vous exposez dans les musées du monde entier. Pour les JO de Pékin en 2008, vous dessinez l'emblématique stade, le nid d'oiseau. Activiste politique opiniâtre, vous êtes régulièrement arrêté, allant jusqu'à disparaître pendant plusieurs semaines. Depuis 2015, vous vivez en exil en Europe pour vous consacrer à mettre en lumière le quotidien des migrants du monde entier. Aujourd'hui, vous vous racontez dans une captivante autobiographie « Mille ans de joie et de peine ». Bienvenue à bord, Ai Weiwei. In your 20s, you're gonna leave China. What happened? In my 20s, I realized some of our groups has been arrested and sentenced over 10 years. The crime is not what they really criticize the government rather to give him a fake crime to say he's a foreign spy, which is ridiculous because we all know that person. That alarmed me. They would do anything dirty and uh, irrational just to crash people who has different opinion. And uh, then I realized I will be, in, I will be the next because I don't like them. I certainly have my opinions mm. and I better escape. You left for America, Philadelphia and then New York. What did you learn there? What did you study there? <laughs> What I did is about how to waste your time. <laughs> I have plenty of time. I have no money. I have no talent. I'm not going to be recognized. That's what you learned in 10 years. Yeah, that's Which is a important. period of 12 years. It's very important. In that time, one day you were at a venue and seeing Allen Ginsberg, the, the great beat poet, uh, doing a talk about a famous Chinese poet. And it was your father. And then you told him, that guy that you've just been talking about is my father. He was surprised. He What said, effect is it on you? First, he was surprised. Said, "Really?" I, I said, guess. Uh, "Yes." He's so excited. He said, "Your father is a person warmly received me and gave me a hug. That's the only person in China ever gave me a hug." And uh, island sensitive, and uh, he he likes me to be around, and uh, we become a friend. Ah. And uh, he reads his poetry to me. He tells me which poet he likes and which they don't like. It's very warm. It, it resembles me as my father uh -huh. because uh, they all have the same kind of quality. I know you take a lot of pictures. Do you want to take a few pictures with my phone? Yeah, that's what you want. The problem is then you have original artworks just as good as Van Gogh or Rembrandt. I'm a you happy know. man. Yeah, of course. You turn your face back. Look at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Europe often judges China. What do you think of uh, the West? Okay. I think, the, yes, China has tremendous problem. Yes. But uh, same as Europe. <laughs> you know, they, they're all closed by their, the way of their, of their thinking. And uh, of course, in the world, nations are in competition, not only be between the West and China, but even in Europe. If you look at the past, World War I, World War II is a war between European nations. You know, not long ago, they're still killing each other. And uh, I'm sure there will be World War III because the human creates so many weapons and those weapons are going to be used. So, but we pretend everything's fine, but why we need nuclear bombs? Why everybody just say, 
enough his knife to get rid of those bombs, not produce those military weapons, not selling to Saudi or other dangerous nations. Nobody even do that. Government or politicians, they are just so fake and so pretending. And uh, what's that leading to? Another fight, right? Once they have those bombs, one of them is going to use it. You know. There's going to be a bright future. <laughs> it's so bright, it hurt our eyes and burning our skins. It's going to be very bright. <laughs> so you are an optimist man. I'm so grateful for have this life. The yeah. more difficult my life has, I'm more grateful. I think the God gave me the opportunity to perform as a human being and to get best out, out of it. So the difficulty is really uh, some kind of purpose to give to me, to say, hey, boy, let's see how you handle it. <laughs>